What's up, Quinn Squad? Welcome back to Harsh World. Please like, subscribe, and turn those post notification bells so you don't miss another video like this one. I've never done that intro before, but okay. Sorry, I look really okay. I look bad. Okay, I'm sorry, but I look so bad today. But it's a freaking Tuesday, and so I thought it would be a fun video to show you how to ride a hoverboard since i just got my hoverboard and i want to show you um this hoverboard you just have to look up hoverboards on amazon and you can find one just like mine um this one does not blow up this one has led lights on the sides and on right here and it has blue lights let me turn it around. In the front, um, this can flip you off if it starts beeping red, the light, and you and it flip you, it'll flip you off and you'll lose your balance on it. So you have to be careful with that. And second thing is don't overcharge it or the battery will get messed up. And I will show you how to not overcharge it. So you're gonna have to plug it in the wall as soon as you plug it in here's the little thing as soon as you plug it in the light turns green but if i plug mine in which you plug yours in on the back right in that little thing you plug that in right there it'll turn red if it's not fully charged but if it is fully charged you need to take it at off charge so that, that's that and then this is how you turn it on with this little button you just push it and then it goes boom, 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 as you heard that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then what you're gonna do, your first time doing it, you might want to, hold on. You might wanna try to like hold on to something like the bedside table and to put one foot on, get balanced, and you have to let that light come on and that light come on if you get this one. And then you get balanced on that one. Now keep balanced, go slowly, hold on to something, go very slowly like really slowly <laughs> and just like try to turn just put your piece down if you put so some people so when i taught my mom and my brother they was I said move your body and they would just go like this and it's not working you're not going forward you have to specifically like push your feet forward and this goes up to seven miles per hour so yeah this you could and then you put your you go back on your ankles and like that part and you'll go backwards and then if you just stay in the middle you'll stay in the middle and like if you kind of turn them like that all the way like that then you'll just turn and then you can go fast and then you'll be able to do like a little curves. so yeah i'm gonna set you guys up in a good spot and show you guys something another thing you can ride the hoverboard on more, most likely flat surfaces if you want to go fast and yeah you can ride it on, on carpet but you shouldn't ride it all the time on carpet because it can't mess up so yeah let me show you guys something that i can do that was fast so and then like i said this part lights up this part lights up and this part lights up, and then you can also like do this. Whoa, that was fast. And then you can just like. Yeah. You can do this if you don't feel comfortable, but you could just stand up. I could, I do squat climb. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah. You can do spots on it. These will flash. Um, I will show you guys what it looks like in the dark. This is not going to be fully dark because it is daytime, but I do have mainly blackout curtains. So let me turn off my lamp and turn off my light, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But you do have to get the LED lights. Oh, and this Bluetooth to your phone. And it's really easy to hook up. And you just have to read the instruction manual, type in the Bluetooth word, put some songs on, and you can listen to music on your hoverboard. So, yeah. So, let me turn off my lamp. Um, and then let me turn off my light, and I'll see you guys in a second. Yes. Another thing is, 
you if you do hit like a curve like that you will go flying forward if you can't catch your balance so you might need really good balance on that so you might want to just practice an open spot so that's how dark it is um i'll go over here because it's more darker you can hear all the see all the flesh it looks like it is really cool and i, I think it has these blue tree lights so you can see like what's right in front of you so let's not go over there because that's where the light is but like yeah And let me turn on the light, and then I'll show you some more cool tricks that you can do with your hoverboard. So, and it's really easy to store. It's just get off of it. And if it stays on for a while, if you get to forget to turn it off, it'll just turn off by itself for if it stays on f for like 15 minutes and you're not on it. So take that off. And it's really easy storage. It goes right under my bed. Take it right out. Turn it on get on it and boom now you can practice whenever you do get more skills you can go on one foot and like your friends can go on the other one and you could just slide around but that's what i did until i got my hover goes board and with all my friends and everything and then yeah and then you can also this is a little bit more of a dangerous skill, I guess, because if you keep turning and you can't stop yourself, that's not my fault. Like, so yeah, so wait, let's go right here. So yeah, if you go really fast, you have to stop your feet and your feet might like go like that. So you can put yourself really badly going this way. So you can just like lean. Now you need to lean your body this way and that way. Um, But if you do comfortable you don't have to do this but here's just another trick that you can do if you would like to so another thing do this and just try to be psycho and do something stupid like that it's gonna keep rolling around and you're gonna get flipped off another scary thing as how you can get flipped off is let's let me show you and i'm about to get flipped off but i don't really care so i did it over here earlier so what you do put your foot right here right here press on it as you're turning it on oh crap i'm scared oh it didn't flip me off oh because my foot wasn't on it correctly hold up okay so So sometimes it flips you off. The last time I was not in control and I got flipped off. And you can, my friend broke her wrist from going over a rock that she didn't see at nighttime and broke her wrist. So you can get some very bad things happen on your hoverboard. So let me show you what I mean. So see this little green light thing right here? Oh, and also that um, thing means if you if you put one foot on. Well, anyways, if it starts going, this thing um, means if um, I look, watch, look, I show you. So turn it off, turn it on, and then watch. Oh, that's weird. And it should start like put a red beat button on because you're only like. One of your foot feet is on, but I keep turning it off and on to show you guys some some things. So that's probably why. Um, but yep. Yeah. And um, I was gonna show you guys more thing. Oh yeah. And if that, if you're riding your hoverboard and that sort of starts beeping like like this, like a beep like that, then um, and it starts flashing red, then you're oh, you see that red light? Yeah, you just saw. It. So um. So, then you're, um, um, then you gotta get off of it immediately, so, or it will flip you off, like, what it'll do is it'll, you know, lose your balance and you'll go that way and it'll flip over, oh yeah, another thing, if it's still on, you're picking it up or turning it that way, it'll be, and there's the speaker, and, um, another thing that I almost got hurt with, hold up, let me get on my hoverboard. So another thing that it does vibrate a lot is say I'm doing this, like I'm on my bed, like doing this, and then I'm just like.
could just, did you guys see how it like vibrated? Like if I'm leaning on my bed, like on my bed, and my feet are just right here, and then I'm just like, I don't know why it does that, but it does. It starts vibrating and like, it's scary. So, and it sometimes on a daily basis, you're just on it, it'll flip you off. Just, I'm not, I'm not trying to scare you guys or anything, but it does. And you can also go on your knees. This is a trick that I'm still learning, but uh, yeah. Um, so let's show you guys again. Let me show you guys again. So I'm just leaning on my bed like this. So yeah. Oops. Oh, look guys around. Hold up. There we go. Okay, so. Wait, why isn't it doing it? It was starting to, but I got off of it. Um, but yeah, like I said, just making that nice. Um, if you pick it up while it's on. Um, so yeah, don't, don't worry. Um, you can name your hoverboard. Uh, I think there's an app where you can like just different things on it, and like I think you can like change the colors of like the the light. But, um, yeah, I think that's all I know for right now. But I will do an update if you guys want me to. And please comment or try to comment if the comments are working. Um, oh, let me Oh, that one's strong. So, um, if you are, um, if you, if this, uh, video was, um, helpful, helpful to you. They, uh, they do make hoverboard shoes. You just have to look up hoverboard shoes, hoverboards online and it, or in stores and you can get your own hoverboard and yeah, please do not hurt yourself. And you are supposed to wear a helmet, but if I would recommend you, if it was your first time riding a hoverboard, when I got mine, it wasn't my first time riding a hoverboard. I learned how to ride a hoverboard when I was six. So don't worry <laughs> and um i had a helmet on too um so yeah i will always so i'm now 10 well almost 10 i'm nine right now but i'm almost in a couple more months and i'll be 10 um but i've wanted a hoverboard since i was six i love them so 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 much and yeah guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and i hope this video was helpful to you Oh, and one more tip, guys. Um, you if you do like go through your neighborhood while you're on your hoverboard. Oh yeah, and you need to step off back because if you step off forward, it will. If you step off backwards, it doesn't go under your ankle. But if you step off forward, well, if you, yeah, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you might want to step off backwards. Yeah. Um, and number tip, if you're like riding your hoverboard for a while, your feet will start hurting because of like that part. That's just a grip. Um, so you might want to wear shoes. So yeah, I'm going to do a little montage of me riding my hoverboard and yeah. Peace out. <laughs> I keep forgetting to say some things. Also, it will beep if you go like over five miles per hour. Cause like I, I was like riding my hoverboard in my neighborhood. I was like, why is it beeping? It has a green light on. So yeah, that's why it's beeping if you go over five miles per hour. So yeah, okay, now we're going to do a montage. Promise you guys. So yeah.
this video was very, very helpful for you. And as you saw, you could just wiggle through if a space is too tight for you to get through, or just going forward. So yeah, and you can easily turn around on it. So yeah, peace out.